All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm very excited to do this tutorial for you guys because this is a move, this is probably my favorite jump rope move right now. It took me a very long time to learn this. Shout out to Kathy on the Jump Rope Dude Squad. She's the one who actually taught me how to do this, so she's a pro at it, and I wanna just first disclaimer. This is my version of the South Ball. It's not perfect. I know there's improvements can be made, but there are a couple just basic things about this move that I think are very important for you to learn how to do it. And by the way, this move was popular popularized by Jake Gyllenhaal in the movie Southpaw where he plays a boxer. There's a very famous scene of him doing this move and just looking super shredded ninja-like. So um, this is one of those moves that it's not super difficult to learn once you get the rhythm down, but it'll make your jump rope game look real nice. As a reminder, the jump rope I'm using in this is our favorite from Crossrope. It's the Get Lean set. It's linked up in the description below. 10% off if you enter Do The Thing at checkout. And don't forget guys, Jared TV is now launched so it's a live ongoing workout experience tutorials live trainings basically the vip membership zone of jump rope dudes without further ado let's get into the tutorial all right ladies and gentlemen so to get into this your regular bounce form must be perfect and that forms the basis of being able to do every trick because if you notice here from the b-roll my, I'm up on my toes, my knees are slightly bent. When I open my hands like that, notice that they're both even and parallel to the ground. Uh, my eyes are forward and my shoulder blades are back and I'm only jumping somewhere in the range of one to two inches off the ground, maybe three inches because I need a little bit of an extra hop to let the rope clear. But you cannot do any move without having this regular bounce form down. If you're someone who already knows this, you can go ahead and skip to section two where we talk about the swing but notice the reason i'm showing you this is because besides my arms i look like i'm just doing the regular bounce um and again just to drive home the point of that is the most important thing having good jump rope form so that you can properly perform all of these tricks the next thing we're getting into swiping to the side now just to make this really simple, whatever hand right there is going over, here comes my left, over my right, and then my right comes over my left. That is the biggest thing that I want to get across to you guys. This move will not work very well if you don't take the opposite hand and take it over the left, or the correct hand. So there you go, left to right, and right comes over my left hand as I swing the rope back. My left goes over my right hand and then I swing the rope back. Right comes over my left and I swing the rope back. I would encourage you guys to just watch this on slow-mo and see me performing it. Now, one thing I wanna say too, there is a slight delay when I'm swinging the rope back to open my hands and have the rope go under my feet. This is probably the biggest thing about this move that makes it very tricky. The muscle memory is very difficult. And here we're gonna talk about that, opening the rope. So you see when my hand, in a sec here, when my hand comes over, there's a little hesitation as I let the rope swing back around before I open the rope. See right there with my right arm? And now it's gonna be my left arm. The, whatever hand is on top, right there is my right. Right here, it's my left. Notice how there's just a little pause when you're going to swing the rope back around before you open your hand. Whatever hand is on top kind of stalls, and that's a very important thing to note here. It sort of stalls and lets the rope swing around before you open it, okay? So the first part of this move is your is taking the opposite hand over the hand that's staying still, but then letting the hand that's on top stay there and stall for a little bit as the rope comes around before you open it. That's very important because if you try to do this move too fast, you will mess up. Now, footwork. This is also super important. Notice how it's two small hops followed by one big hop when I open the rope. So two small hops for the swing, one big one for the open. Two small hops for the swing, one, or sorry, one, two small hops for the side swing and then a big hop for the open. So here there's one, two, or sorry, one, two, and then three's the big one. One, two, three's the big one to let the rope come under. So think of it as, as you're swinging the rope, when the, when the opposite hand crosses over, that's one hop. As the top hand stalls, that's two hops. And then when you're ready to open the rope, that's the larger third hop. Again, this is something you guys are just gonna need to 
repeat and practice because the muscle memory of this move is a little bit more difficult than other moves, except once you get it down, then it's gonna become very easily. So let's talk about hand and eye coordination, which kind of goes into what I was just talking about. It's, one, it's two small hops and then a big hop. So one thing that I recommend for you guys to stay coordinated throughout this move is count that out in your head. I What I personally do is go one, one, two, one, one, two. So I'll do it here with the timing of the actual V-roll that you're seeing. When it goes to my feet, here, one sec. So it's just showing you my hands, my eyes are forward. That's super important to note. It's much easier to do a jump rope trick in any jump rope trick when your eyes are forward. And like I said, that's the correct form. It helps you stay in one place and it helps keep your posture in a good spot. So as soon as it goes back to my feet here, um, well, I can talk about it without even seeing my feet. It's just one, one, two. So we go one, one, two, one, one, see those two little bounces? Two, one, one, and two. You can tell without seeing my feet what I'm doing. One, one, and two. That's the biggest thing. Hands, and for hand-eye coordination, eyes face forward, feet stay in the same place, and it's just two, here we go. Two little hops and a big one. Two, open. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, one and two on the open. So that's what I just kind of repeat to myself as I'm doing this. Check out our tutorials, guys. Ask us any questions, comment below. And thank you for tuning in to another Jump Rope Dudes tutorial. I hope you guys found that tutorial helpful. Watch it over and over again, just like I talk about in a lot of videos. The best way to learn how to do these moves is just to visually watch the slow-mo and literally put it up on your TV and just stand there and practice it with me um, in your living room or your garage. But just keep practicing. Repetition is the most important thing for building this muscle memory. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for, for being here today. Go ahead, leave a comment if you feel inclined to do so. Leave a like if you like this video and also subscribe if you want to get more information on how to jump rope, get lean, and live more. I'm Dan Whitmer. Do the thing.